All right, everyone, it is confirmed. February 15th, Cletus and Cars, Houston, Texas. I will be there. Thanks to this lovely woman here that gave me permission to go. You're welcome, honey. Mm -hmm. Really cool thing is I'm riding up with another YouTuber. He's got a fairly small channel, just started out, Daily ZL1. I'll leave a link down below. So, man, rolling into Houston in style in a ZL1. How about that? Finally get to spend a little bit of time in one. We'll figure out if we're going to trade in or not. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to go shopping. We got no food. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here at our second home. Walmart. Yeah, but Dan there live here. This piece here was in this air box like so. As you see, it kind of deflects all the air. And I mean, it really makes just the airflow down to just this little piece right here. And I imagine they do it because, you know, they're going to dry these things in all kind of weather and rain and stuff like that. So they need a way to uh, prevent all that. And there's all kinds of crazy contraptions. I know Hawks Motorsports sells like a Ram Air system and all this other stuff. And I'm not really looking to spend that much money and put all that into the car. So I figured by taking those off, it's going to give direct airflow into the box now. And then just for good measure, I drilled some big holes here in the bottom of the box. Just to go ahead and help get a little bit more airflow. Uh, if you're going to do it, this side here, there's a wiring harness to be careful of, and on this side here, the wiring harness is on the bottom piece. So right here and right here, it's a little piece of a wiring harness. So, here we go. So, yeah, the uh, factory stuff will work with the uh, first TPI. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm keeping the original intake system on here as well. But like I said, I think that this is going to help improve... A little bit of airflow getting those deflectors out and drilling those holes. Oh. It's one of these few times that coffee doesn't feel so good going down. Guys, it is Friday, January 24th. I've been sick the past two days. Wednesday and Thursday, I have just been bedridden. I have just been sick. I'm hurting, coughing a lot. And uh, I've just been trying to rest, so... Uh, excuse like my voice and stuff like that um, I came out here because I want to give you a little update I heard from Ken he's the owner of first fuel injection now because he's a speed shop and he's a mechanic in that he works with profiler that makes the heads that I'm buying so he was able to get me a good deal something better than if I were to purchase them through summit so this is the reason I'm working with him and maybe I'm not sure if anybody's confused or not but Ken makes the first fuel injection manifolds but because he's a speed shop, you know, he has vendors, he deals with people, so. Anyhow, they have assured us, or what I'm understanding is that they're assuring us that either Monday or Tuesday, the cylinder heads will be in the mail. So, fingers crossed, by the end of next week, we'll uh, be able to start working on this. So, 
that being said, there was another thing I wanted to do to the car, and I ordered the stuff, and fortunately for me, it'll be coming tomorrow, and it's really fortunate because the wife is off, <laughs> so this is going to be fun, having this box arrive with her being here, so we'll see how that goes, um, but this is uh, something I've been wanting to do. I was going to do it later, <coughs> then sooner, but seeing how I have nothing else going on, it's something I really want to do. This should be around for like Wednesday's vlog. This will be Monday's vlog. I already put out I won't have a vlog for Friday, which is today. So this vlog will be Monday. The other stuff I'm getting, I'll be able to get done in a day. And that will be Wednesday's vlog. And then hopefully by Friday, we're going to have some cylinder head action. Sound good? Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, you really got to support our small channels. You know, I can't afford five or six cars and always be working on something i'm doing my best with one car man so thank you everyone for your support you really i mean you know it's like even gavin started out with just one mustang and now look at him damn he's buying like a car every other week it seems so i mean good for him that's awesome he's got a shop and mechanics and stuff like that now you know i don't quite want to get to that point i'd like to keep it small but i mean it would be nice to have you know that kind of resources available but uh, anyhow, so, um, like I said, I've been bedridden the past two days, so today I felt like, hey, let me go out there and work on a car, and that was stupid. Um, I jacked up the back of the car, I wanted to see where the ground jacks were, and they are in fact, and I didn't realize that they are in fact screwed all the way down, um, I can't lower the back end anymore, so, anyhow, <coughs> I think it looks fine, I thought I had a little bit more adjustment, but I guess I just went for broke and just went ahead and slammed it all the way down. I, I forgot I did it. I don't know. Um, and then, uh, so I did that. That was dumb. I started coughing really bad, but I couldn't breathe. And then I came back out here and decided to fart around with that air box and drill those holes. It's something I've been wanting to do. Like I said before, um, you can spend money. The people got all kinds of things. I've seen videos people cut the entire bottom of that box out. If I do the hot rod, which I really want to do, the hot rod power tour, if I get caught in any kind of rain, I really don't need, like, water just slamming up into here. So I figured just open up a little bit, just a little bit, get a little bit more airflow in here. And we'll see how that goes. And then uh, we are going to Cletus and Cars. Oh, I already said that in the beginning of the video. Damn. So, yes, Cletus and Cars. That should be fun. Hopefully I run into just the six. And I think that's about all I have for the updates as of right now, guys. Um, just like I said, I feel like pure crap. So I'm going to go lay back down for a little bit, try to get this throat calmed down because it hurts like hell just to talk. So anyhow, that's where we're at. <coughs> Make sure you tune in for Wednesday. You might want to see what I'm going to get done. So Chevy, I don't know who does your marketing, but instead of sending me something that makes absolutely no sense why don't you invite me out and do some factory tours invite me out to some test grounds come on gm come on chevy invite one of your most loyal customers ever to uh one of your events you know i'm not like a rich guy i don't have a lot of money for cars i know it doesn't look like it trust me i owe the bank my friggin life right now <laughs> um man you know you know like stang mode and i don't know how he does it but he gets invited to some great mustang and ford events and i don't i don't understand how he's got that connection but it's awesome for him you know come on gm hook me up so i don't know who like i said i don't know who does your marketing but um i have a 15 chevy ss right there's a bow tie the orange car's got a bow tie that's the cruise that car's got a bow tie it's the 17 camaro ss the 50th anniversary then we get the beautiful 91 here and if you want to add another gm the backyard's the beautiful gto and we got the Buick behind the SS. Come on, man. How much more GM stuff do I need to get invited to some stuff? And I'm just the average kind of working guy. Just a veteran trying to make it in life. And trying to make a little name for himself on YouTube. So don't, I mean, I don't understand how you figure switch. Send my switch back to Chevy. When did I switch out of Chevy? The last three brand new cars I've bought have all been Chevys. I said, even if we don't count the 91 because I bought this used, those three are all purchased brand new. I'm the original owner, so I... <laughs> but when you do buy a new car, they send you these books. And in this catalog, and I'm sorry, I'm kind of late. I've had this for a while. 
I was going to show you guys this little poster dealio that came in the book. Look at that. C8. Still not sure. As of this point, I probably really can't afford it because my retirement has not come in yet. I'm waiting. Maybe it might be a few more months. But pretty cool poster. Plus, I want to build a garage. I have some other plans in life. There's some travel and stuff I want to do. So, like I said, life always throws you a curveball at times. It's the reason why I wasn't able to keep my 92. So, I mean, I have some other plans on here. So, I don't know if tying up my money in a car, especially one that a lot of YouTubers are jumping on, I don't know if it's going to happen. So, we'll wait and see. If I get the call and I got my retirement coming in, maybe, but... Uh, so anyhow, time to go ahead and wrap up the vlog. <coughs> Feeling a bit better. It's Sunday right now. Um, guess what? <sighs> Hate to even say it, but UPS, their tracking was off. It, my package was at the hub that morning. It got there about 3.30 in the morning, but it never made it out for delivery. Yeah. So I guess that will be coming Monday, but I'll still have it for Wednesday's vlog. <laughs> and then FedEx was supposed to drop off my head gaskets on Saturday as well and eh, it never made it <laughs> so uh, I don't know what to say I mean at least I'm not ready for the head gaskets yet uh, I would have liked to have my package my other package so I could have started on something but I will have it done by Wednesday like I said it's going to be a day project so I'll spend Tuesday working on it and have it ready for you on Wednesday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification because you don't want to miss when I'm putting out any videos. You don't want to miss the first start of this beast. It's going to be something else. cannot wait to get this car running. Uh, hopefully we're running to Cletus in just a six at Cletus and Cars, Houston, Texas. And don't forget to check out Daily Z01. I'll leave a link down below. Let him know that I sent you over to his channel. Give another small YouTuber some support if you don't mind. Links down below if you want some t-shirts, merchandise, or if you want to support the channel. We need to build this garage so I can continue doing this stuff. So again, everyone, thank you for your support. And we shall see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.